What is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. And we've had some interesting news develop over the last week or so with LEGO and Universal partnering. Now, the news broke that LEGO was partnering with Universal mostly over movies last week, but as of this week, we now know that LEGO is partnering with Universal Music for the sake of actually doing some music projects. Now, what does this mean? I've seen some speculation saying that LEGO could be making, like, musician-themed sets or just sets themed around music in general. And as of this video, we don't actually know what the future is going to look like for LEGO and Universal's partnership as far as product are concerned, but I wanted to shed some light on it. If you don't know, I'm a musician in real life, and I work in the music business doing social media marketing, so I do know a thing or two about the music industry, and while I don't work at Universal or anything like that, I'm just speculating here, not giving any kind of actual insight to the company or anything like that. Now, my thought is this. It would be absolutely amazing to see LEGO sets based on musicians. Universal represents the Beatles, Taylor Swift, Queen, Bon Jovi, Johnny Cash, The Who, Post Malone, Billie Eilish, Ariana Grande, Lady Gaga, so many more. I mean, the list just goes on and on. And there are obviously huge fan bases for everybody that I just mentioned. If they were to make a LEGO set based on Taylor Swift, there are so many Taylor Swift fans that would buy a Lego set of her that normally wouldn't buy a Lego set of, say, Lego City, for example. So this gives Lego and Universal both an amazing opportunity to tap into new markets and create new fans of Lego and just kind of fans in general. Now, we do have to consider one thing, though. Because Universal represents these artists, it's mostly on a music publishing side, which is like collection of royalties and licensing music out. It's going to vary from artist to artist, but generally speaking, that's how they represent these artists that I've mentioned here and countless others. So the chances of actually getting Lego sets based on musicians are certainly higher than they've ever been. But you have to remember that the musicians are going to have their own management companies and also other branches that defend their likeness, right? So let's take the Beatles, for example, because I know the Beatles world pretty well. The Beatles, of course, are kind of owned by Apple Records, which was a record label they started back in the day, but this doesn't need to be a history lesson on that. Basically, what it means is if you want to make a Beatles t-shirt or if you want to make a Beatles lunchbox or something along those lines, you need to get the licensing rights to use their likeness, their photos, their logo, so on and so forth. Hopefully you can see where I'm going with this, that in order to make Lego sets based off of musicians or bands or anything along those lines, there's going to be some really sticky laws that are going to, you know, prohibit you from just being able to make anything based on anybody. Now that said, Lego has absolutely done this before in the past with things like their NBA theme from a long time ago, but I don't really know the legalese of that. You know, I don't know if they were able to sign something with the NBA that allowed them to make any player or if they had to negotiate with each player as to what it would cost to use their likeness as a Lego figure. I truly don't know. It'd be fascinating to know, but I just don't think that information is out there for the public. So coming back to music and the music theme. I'm really not sure what to expect here. You know, this is just an absolutely huge, unprecedented opportunity for LEGO to make some really interesting new sets. But at the same time, there's definitely a lot of legal red tape that they would have to go through to make entirely music-based sets. Basically, the idea is this. If LEGO wanted to make a Beatles set, a Taylor Swift set, and a Billie Eilish set, for example, they would have to get the rights to each of those artists just to make that set, to use their likeness individually. Just because they're working with Universal does not mean they get a blanket license to make anything on anybody. That said, because they're working with Universal, the opportunity is higher than ever before, and I'm excited to see what comes of it. Honestly, I think the coolest thing to do would be to make a music-themed CMF series. That way you could just make a Billie Eilish figure or just make a Johnny Cash figure. And yes, LEGO would still need to get the license to do that, but it's probably a lot easier than it would be to make an entire series based off of one musician. I hope that makes sense. I'm not a lawyer, I'm not giving legal advice or anything, but I do have some insight to this and I figured it'd just be interesting to share, kind of bringing my music world and my Lego world together here. And drop a comment, let me know what you think. Let me know what musicians you'd like to see made as Lego. They may not necessarily be with Universal, but that doesn't mean it's impossible and anything is possible in this crazy Lego world which we live in. All right guys, thanks for checking out this video. I'll catch you guys on the next video and until then, build on. 
If you liked what you saw and you liked what you heard, feel free to click that subscribe button for more LEGO content coming in the near future. So, thanks for tuning in to today's video, and until next time, build on.